Well, I'm Howard Schubiner. I'm an uh, internal medicine physician from Detroit, Michigan, and I'm thrilled that Hal and I have been working together. And I've never been to Australia before, but the training we're going to do down there is going to be uh, amazing uh, because this is a crucial moment in the world of chronic pain. More than 50% of people who th seek therapy have chronic pain. There's an epidemic of chronic pain, back pain, headaches, stomach pain, pelvic pain. And this epidemic is it's occurring at the same time of huge increase in costs and the fact that conventional therapies have not been shown to be particularly effective. And millions and millions of people are suffering. So fortunately, neuroscience is coming to the rescue. There's been amazing neuroscience developments emerging on how the brain works. And the fact that all pain is generated by the brain. It's an amazing statement. And then even more amazing is that most people with chronic pain do not, I repeat, do not have structural components that are actually causing the pain. Therefore, there's an amazing opportunity for us to teach you about how to help people cure chronic pain rather than just cope with it. And we're excited to now have research findings that have demonstrated that this approach that we've been developing and pioneering over these last few decades is actually effective, more effective than standard pain therapy techniques for people with back pain, with fibromyalgia, and with other pain conditions. So Hal and I are passionate about this. I hope you can see that. And uh, I want to kind of flip it back to Hal to tell a little bit more about the details of this training coming up in May. Well, thanks, Howard. Um, look, I'd love to share a bit more about the details, but I just want to dive a bit deeper into the research there. So, you know, you, along with some of your colleagues in Detroit, have led some really um, controversial but groundbreaking studies. Uh, you've done some randomized controlled trials that have demonstrated the efficacy in fibromyalgia treatment, and also I know you've been working on an exciting new study in back pain. So we don't want to dive too deep. People can read the studies for themselves, but you just want to comment uh, because you did make an extraordinary claim before that you know we should be aiming to cure many chronic pain conditions, not just help people to cope with them. That's certainly what I've been trying to do in my uh, private practice here as a mind-body oriented psychotherapist. But do you want to just speak briefly about you know why that is your conviction? Well, what we're finding is that uh, the majority, when you, when you look closely at the diagnosis side of things, in our back pain study, 95% of the people did not have structural problems uh, in their back, but yet they had chronic pain that was an average duration of 10 years. And so this is shocking in and of itself, and we've been pioneering these techniques for how to help people retrain their brains, reprogram their brains out of pain, because neural circuitry in the brain gets reinforced by having more pain, by having it longer, by fear of pain, by focus on pain. And the simple techniques that we've been using uh, uh, to help people disengage from the fear and the focus on the pain actually can make the pain go away. And the results are um, astounding how effective we've been with that. And then on top of that, in the fibromyalgia study, we used emotional processing techniques. And we found in that study that we had higher rates of pain uh, elimination as compared to standard psychological technique of cognitive behavioral therapy. So the training that Hal and I are going to be offering in May is a combination of helping people understand how to diagnose pain accurately, how to rule in a neural circuitry problem rather than a structural problem, how to do the brain retraining exercises, and how to do the emotional processing. So when you put all those techniques together, you have a powerful force for uh, really helping people find their way out of chronic pain. Great, Howard. Yeah, I think that captures it really well. You know, we're going to be working 
with the latest neuroscience. We're going to be offering uh, practitioners of a range of different disciplines. We'd like to make this uh, accessible and interesting and relevant to medical doctors, to physiotherapists, to psychologists, psychiatrists, psychotherapists, osteopaths, chiropractors, uh, perhaps even naturopaths. There's a lot of people at the front lines of chronic pain and we believe that offering this mind-body perspective uh, where we're working with shifting the neuroplasticity in the brain, we're also working meaningfully with emotions, underlying trauma uh, and psychological factors that can lead people to kind of manifest these physical symptoms that are very diverse. It's a very powerful way of addressing pain. So we're confident that practitioners who come along We'll get some really tangible skills and resources that they'll be able to apply immediately in their own uh, practice setting. So perhaps I'll just talk a little bit about the practicalities unless you wanted to make any more comments, Howard. I think you're forgetting the most important ingredient. Well, what's that, Howard? We're, we're going to have fun doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that certainly is uh, a, fo a foundationally important thing for what we've created in Freedom from Chronic Pain so far. We love to have a good time and hang out and we're going to be in a residential setting. There's going to be an opportunity for a nice beer or two later on. We're um, by the beautiful Yarra River there in Warburton. There's the bush, assuming it all hasn't been burnt by bushfires, but you know, well, <laughs> it's going to be early May, so that should all be taken well and truly taken care of. Um, and the rains will have come by then. It's a really beautiful uh, setting, so it'll be as well as really stimulating professional development. I'm confident it'll be, uh, yeah, it'll be a fun and relaxing gathering, and there'll be time to take some time for yourself, relax and unwind, or meet some other open-minded, integrative professionals. Uh, all the food's provided. We're providing the transport from Melbourne and from the airport. Uh, you'll have your own private room. Um, yeah, I think those are the main things that I'd like to cover for people. Do you think I've forgotten anything, Howard? Did you mention we're going to have fun? Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I can um, promise you guys at least 10 minutes of Howard Schubin a stand up for every day, every day of practitioner training. That's going to wind up to a lot. I'm sure you can claim that on your professional development as well because it's going to be good. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to it. Well, it's going to be great to have you in Australia, Howard. So, um, Thanks for your time. Thanks for listening, everyone. We look forward to getting to know you better at the training. Thanks a lot.